Hey y'all, I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a Thanksgiving prep and a humongous grocery haul. Okay y'all, so I just did my big haul for Thanksgiving. We actually did Walmart pickup, so we're gonna get into all that in just a second. But I want to sit down and kind of chat with y'all just for a second, give y'all some tips, tricks, reminders that maybe you just forgot things you need to be doing right now in preparation for Thanksgiving coming up next week. So we personally host in our family. We've been doing that a few years now and we love it. But hosting comes with a lot of preparations that, you know, you need to do ahead of time. So even if you're not hosting, some of these things you need to go ahead and do as well. Obviously, you need to go ahead and go to the grocery store. Normally, I would like to do this at least a week ahead of time. It's Friday, so I'm a little bit behind that, but if you have not been to the store for your Thanksgiving ingredients, even if you're just taking a dish somewhere, you need to do that. Either do it tonight or this weekend at the latest because the store is gonna get crowded and all those ingredients are already getting low. Matter of fact, in my grocery order today, I had a few things they didn't have. I'm gonna have to run out to a different store and things like that, but yes, everything's getting low because we're all eating the same stuff, we're all making the same stuff, so we all are running out getting all of those same ingredients. So make sure you go to the grocery store this weekend. Also, if you can, you wanna do this tonight, go ahead and put in your grocery order. I don't know about you guys, I'm sure a lot of y'all are the same way, but I hate going to the grocery store when it's just so crowded. It feels like, you know, a traffic jam on every aisle and everybody's again trying to get to the same stuff. So Walmart pickup or any grocery store for that matter, I know there's a few that do it now, do a Walmart or a grocery store order and just go pick it up. Makes it super easy to have somebody else shopping for you and you can just go pick up your ingredients and have them all you know, waiting for you. So that's what we did today. So yeah, that's the first thing. Go ahead and get your grocery shopping done. Now we're gonna backtrack a little bit. I should have said this first, but you want to plan out and have planned what you're gonna be bringing and what other people are gonna be bringing either to your house or even if I was going somewhere, I would kind of like to have an idea if I could what other people were making so that way I would know I wasn't bringing the same thing or something like that so just kind of plan out what everyone's bringing if you can also third thing you want to make sure you have all of your pans your plates your napkins your cups all that sort of stuff so I know that this might be a little bit controversial but whatever um, we use paper plates for Thanksgiving I get the big the Chinette ones I think they're called Chinette right Chinette dining plates, I don't know. The big oval ones are like the big heavy duty kind. Um, we use those just because I don't want to be in the kitchen washing dishes when all our family's here and I don't want anybody else to be having to do that either. So that's just a choice we make. We use paper plates on Thanksgiving. It makes it easy and that way we can focus on just hanging out with each other. Also, make sure you have enough baking dishes, especially like casserole dishes and mixing bowls, things like that that you're gonna need, you know, more of than you normally use. Especially if you've been using Pioneer Woman stuff because you might have had one or two break this year. So yeah, maybe you need to pick up another casserole dish or two. Maybe you need to replace some that have broken over the past year. Um, also, you could use the aluminum pans from Dollar Tree. I think they're fine. If you're having a lot of side dishes and you don't want to have all those casserole dishes to clean up, I'm kind of on the fence about this one because like I said, I don't want to be doing all those dishes, but at the same time, I love putting out my pretty, you know, um, bakeware and 9 by 13s casserole dishes, all that sort of stuff for Thanksgiving when everybody's going to see us. So I do like to use some of my pretty bakeware for that. Now along with that, make sure you have enough cups and silverware if you have children. Again, somehow they get to missing. <laughs> get to missing. Is that a southern term? I'm pretty sure that is get to missing. Anyway, if you have silverware that maybe you've kind of gotten less and less on over the last year or so, maybe you need to pick up another thing of silverware. I don't know. That's totally up to you, but you just want to make sure you have everything you're going to need for that day so you're not scrambling around trying to find like extra forks or you know, whatever. Make sure you have everything ready. Okay, the next thing is make sure you have your refrigerator and maybe your freezer cleaned out. Obviously, with this big haul I'm about to show y'all, it's gonna have to have somewhere to go 
that even after Thanksgiving, I wanna have somewhere to put leftovers because we will have tons. I wanna make sure we have room to pack up people, you know, to go plates and to go leftovers as well. Make sure we have enough room for all of our drinks. And you don't want somebody coming over and going to get a drink or something out of the fridge and just have it be a mess and they can't find anything or it just looks super embarrassing, you know what I mean? So just make sure we get those fridges cleaned out so they'll be nice and clean when our guests come over. Okay, one other thing I have for you is stock up on your sale items. Now, I personally am not even taking my own advice, but I know this is a great time to do this. Like your canned green beans, corn, chicken broth, sugar, flour, like all these things that you're gonna be using all season long for Christmas too. Go ahead and stock up because most likely they're at really good prices right now. So go ahead and do that. Okay, the last thing I'm going to mention before I get into the haul is go ahead and start thinking about the things you can prepare ahead of time, especially things like pies you could go ahead and make and then bake and freeze or some of them depending on what they are you could just freeze and then bake but there's so many things you can make ahead of time because I hate on Thanksgiving day to be so rushed and feel like I'm already behind and have to really make everything. I never make everything on Thanksgiving day. There's so many make ahead recipes now and so many ways you can go ahead and prep that. Just look through your list, look at everything you're making and you know, look it up, research it, Google it to see if there's like a make ahead version. And even if it's not that particular recipe, maybe it'll tell you how you can, you know, prepare it ahead ahead of time. That way you'll just have things you can throw in the oven, things like that, and just make the actual Thanksgiving day run a whole lot smoother. Okay, so let's go get into the grocery haul. Like I said, we just went to Walmart. I did Walmart pickup and I spent right at $200. So I got everything for our Thanksgiving meal. The only thing that we don't really make is the turkey. And I think my mom is bringing green beans and rolls as well. We make pretty much all the sides and desserts and stuff like that. Um, so I got all that stuff. And then of course the kids are out next week. So I got some things, you know, for them, for lunches and snacks and all that good stuff. So for $200 plus Thanksgiving I mean for the week and Thanksgiving I don't feel like that was really that bad all right so let me go show y'all everything that we got okay so the whole island is slammed full today and then also we have all this over here on this counter as well so lots and lots of stuff let's get into it Okay, so I'm going to kind of go around the island instead of trying to reach over everything. But as far as meat, we just got chicken, ground beef, um, two things of bacon. I got a lot of stuff with bacon in it, recipes and things like that. And then I believe that's all of the meat we actually need for this week. That doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise we have enough stuff. Anyway, coming into produce, I got some broccoli florets, some fresh carrots, some mushrooms for some stuffed mushrooms. We have some sweet potatoes, some russet potatoes. We have some bananas, some onion. This is Italian parsley. We have some iceberg lettuce, celery sticks, frozen chopped spinach, frozen corn, fresh cranberries for homemade cranberry sauce. And then let's see, um, cheddar cheese for the mac and cheese recipe, which by the way, I have several, um, Thanksgiving cooking vlogs videos that I will have linked down below. So I pretty much have all of my Thanksgiving recipes filmed. Make sure you check the description box because I'll put those down there if you want to go watch those. And I'll have one more coming out on Sunday. So make sure you check back Sunday. Anyway, got ranch seasoning mix. Got two kinds of pie crust. I like these kind for uh, making a chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. So that's actually not Thanksgiving. But then these, of course, will be for our pies for Thanksgiving. Got some more spreadable butter. Got lots of cheeses. We have some palmetto cheese. It's pimento cheese. It's just made locally, I believe. Some American cheese for grilled cheese. Parmesan wedge. Big block of sharp cheddar. And then back up here, we have mini marshmallows. I have two things of stovetop stuffy mix. This is actually um, just an ingredient in my southern cornbread dressing. But actually, they were out of one. I was supposed to have one cornbread dressing and one savory herb. But I think it'll be fine. So, I got those. Elbow noodles. Sour cream. Three things of chicken broth, just so I know I'll have enough. Come back down this way. I bought two of the Uncle Ben's Basmati Ready Rice. For some reason, 
my oldest daughter has been just liking to eat this so i figured might as well have some for next week if she wants some rice i don't know for lunch with something by itself whatever got some bob evans mashed potatoes for something just easy next week before before we get into the real deal mashed potatoes got some spaghetti noodles of course to have on hand they were out of my favorite ragu so i got prego this time and this was a substitution. We like the uh, great value cantina style salsa, but they gave us this kind, which I'm sure that's fine. And then just a bag of the thin cantina style chips just to have whenever we want that for a snack. I don't know if I said coffee already, but got some more coffee, Italian breadcrumbs for a recipe, Parmesan Romano. This was actually supposed to be the Pecorino, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Pecorino, um, Parmesan, Pecorino, Romano, I don't know, cheese, but of course, you know, Walmart's not really that fancy and whatever, we're just going to use that. So anyway, over here we got a Totino's pizza, I thought the girls would like that for lunch one day next week. And the day, the night before Thanksgiving, we always just do pizza, it's easy because normally I'm cooking that day as well. So I got this thin crust Philly cheesesteak pizza. Darren and I tried this one day for lunch a few weeks ago and it was really, really good. So I went ahead and got that one for us. And then just a seven cheese for the girls under there. That'll be for our dinner for the night before Thanksgiving. Got a big thing of paper plates. Got some eggs. So I just get the cheap eggs for ingredients like mac and cheese, pies, anything like that. But then the ones that we actually eat or for like deviled eggs, I like to get our eggs that I normally buy. Just the organic cage-free brown eggs because I don't know, I just feel like they taste better. So if we're going to eat them... I want the good kind, but like I said, ingredients, that really doesn't matter, so that saves you some money. So I got the variety pack of chips just for the girls' lunches. Now we're gonna come around on this side, so like I said, it's a little bit easier. Uh, one kid wanted watermelon juice, one wanted the Honest Kids uh, Very Good Lemonade, so I got those. Then I got two sparkling ices, classic lemonade and coconut pineapple. Got some mac and cheese cups, yogurt, Got some cinnamon toast waffles and then the French toast sticks. Got two things of whipped cream. We love this on our coffee and hot chocolate. And then I wanted to have enough for, you know, pie if anybody wanted that on Thanksgiving. Um, Darren is wanting to grill breakfast this weekend. So he wanted some hash browns to do on the Blackstone. What else? Went ahead and picked up some butter. Can never have enough butter. I feel like you're always running out of stuff like that on Thanksgiving. Then heavy whipping cream, got a big one and a small one just to have enough. Several recipes called for that. Went ahead and got some gallon um, zipper bags just so I'll have enough of those if I need to freeze anything. And then what else? Let's move over here to this other counter. Okay, another thing you don't want to run out of on Thanksgiving is toilet paper. <laughs> and then I got this huge, huge, huge thing of collard greens. Y'all, I love collard greens, but I did not mean to buy this many, but that's okay. I'll probably just cook them all up and freeze them. Um, these freeze really well when you cook them. You can just put them in the pot, you know, whenever later on, and they warm right back up, and they taste just as fresh. So I love doing that, so that's no big deal. Got a big thing of water. I got two loaves of French bread, which actually was another substitution. I just wanted one of the French baguette loaves but they didn't have that and they substituted this which really I can't use for what I was wanting it for but I figured I would use it for something we can either have sandwiches next week when the kids are out um, we're having spaghetti one night so I can make you know garlic bread I can even make some homemade croutons for our salads like we'll use this and they're only a dollar a piece so I just told her we would keep it got some English muffins I've been loving these for breakfast sandwiches some bread just for regular sandwiches and then I got a gallon and a half of milk to make sure I had plenty to cook with, as well as drink, and then Diet Sun Drop. And I think, I think, I think that's it. Okay, and here's my super fancy meal plan for next week. Um, we're just having pretty much easy stuff leading up till, you know, Thanksgiving, because I don't want to be cooking like all kinds of stuff all week long. So anyway, last night we had breakfast for dinner. Tonight I'm planning on doing that chicken pot pie and a salad. Saturday night, Darren said he wanted to grill, and he never told me what he wanted to grill tomorrow, so I don't even have the stuff for that, I don't think. But then Sunday, he also wants to grill something, but we're also probably going to have pintos, 
collards, probably not cornbread. And then Monday, spaghetti. Tuesday, we're going out for a family member's birthday. Wednesday, the night before, like I said, pizza. And then Thursday is Thanksgiving, of course. And Friday, of course, there'll be plenty of leftovers. All right, y'all, so that's it for my grocery haul and my tips and tricks. Feel free to leave any that I may have missed down in the comments below. I know I would love to read through them and you can help everybody else here as well. So I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, even though I'll see you before then. Like I said, I have one more video coming out Sunday at 10 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. It's Thanksgiving. It's actually Thanksgiving appetizers. I'll go ahead and tell you that. If you need some of those ideas, make sure you are subscribed, have your bell notifications on, and check back Sunday at 10. All right, so I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.